Can you believe that almost every weight distribution hitch system you get for a vehicle does not come with the hitch ball? You end up having to get this really expensive system and then find out you have to buy a hitch ball and then find out you have to buy this massive socket to install it on the vehicle as well as a torque wrench that's able to get it up to the correct torque. So even when you buy a weight distribution hitch, you end up paying almost $100 more just for the equipment to get the hitch ball installed on the hitch. If you've ever experienced this, or if you didn't know that, you're going to want to watch this video. What's going on guys? So if you've watched my channel for a while, you've probably seen the video I did about a year ago on the Anderson Ultimate Fifth Wheel Connection, which is essentially their conversion kit to give you a gooseneck style towing system for your pickup truck to tow a fifth wheel. It converts the kingpin on the front of your fifth wheel to a goose ball adapter and thus gives you the ability to use their system to tow a fifth wheel. What you may or may not know is that they also have a very innovative product for travel trailers or really any type of trailer that requires sway control. And what you're looking at today is the Anderson No Sway Weight Distribution Hitch System. So before we open up this box and take a look at the inside, I want to show you the different kits that are available. The specific kit that we're going to be looking at today is actually going to be this one right here. It has a 2 inch shank, 2 inch ball, and it's going to come with brackets that accommodate a 3, 4, 5, or 6 inch frame on a travel trailer. The specific travel trailer that this will be featured on is the R-Pod RP190 that was featured in a video from a couple of weeks ago. And that specific travel trailer is relatively small, so it's not going to require larger brackets. That's why the 3, 4, 5, and 6 inch bracket kit is what we'll need, along with the 2 inch ball. As you can see, they have several different kits that can accommodate up to a 4 inch dropper rise or even up to an 8 inch dropper rise. They have a really good video on their website that shows why you don't just want to get the 8 inch dropper rise and use that as universal kit because you may need kind of an in between spacing that this may not accommodate for that the 4 inch dropper rise kit will need. So basically what this means is when you're installing this on your vehicle, you want to ensure that the hitch in your trailer is as level as possible. If you put the wrong shank in place, you run into a risk of your trailer not ultimately being level when everything's said and done. So you do want to make sure that you do order the right kit. Now as we get into the box, the first thing you're going to see is the installation manual. Next, you're going to see these urethane bushings, or essentially kind of a spring. You have your hitch ball assembly, and this is the portion that will actually slide into the shank and be secured there. So before I unpack everything else, let's talk a little bit about this hitch head assembly. One thing that's really nice about this assembly is that it includes the actual ball. With most weight distribution systems, you're going to have to buy the ball separately, then you're going to have to buy a socket to properly tighten the ball to the shank, and unfortunately, those can be kind of pricey because you're also going to need a torque wrench to properly tighten it to the right torque specifications. With the Anderson system, the ball is included because it's an integral part to the entire system working. Secondly, it's already pressed in place, so you don't have to actually install the system. It's already in place. And more importantly, you have the system come complete. You're not going to need to buy any expensive tools to put this system on your vehicle. It also includes this really nice socket which is designed to adjust your weight distribution system and the big nuts that are at the end of your chains which help you dial in the right amount of weight distribution. A couple things you can see here. First of all, this collar that's in here. This is actually a friction collar. What this is designed to do is make it very difficult for this ball assembly to turn. The reason that it's designed that way is that is the sway control. This is what's used to prevent sway from occurring between the truck and the trailer during high winds, adverse road conditions, trucks driving by you. Basically, the inability for this to move easily is what creates sway control. Now this entire box sealed weighs about 56 pounds and your shank, which is this piece right here, is definitely the bulk of that weight, which rightly so because this is going to actually be what supports the majority of the weight when you're towing it. You have your box of fasteners, basically all your hardware components to mount the system. Your chains, you're going to have two of these. As well as the plate that mounts to the bottom of the hitch assembly. 
And right here are your brackets that will connect to the frame of the trailer. So this is the portion that the chains will actually slide through when you're installing this on the trailer. Okay, so I have everything laid out now and everything's been unpackaged. As far as weight distribution systems go, this is a really cool package for a couple of reasons. First of all, it weighs less. I know that the box is going to seem pretty heavy when you get it, but the reality is the entire system probably weighs about half the weight of your typical weight distribution system, mainly because you don't have the long metal rods or bars that are used traditionally in weight distribution. This system uses friction, it's a different method, but it, in my opinion, is a better solution simply because it has less components that could fail, and it works in a way that is designed to provide sway control all the time. You don't have any type of brackets or any type of friction pieces to remove when you're backing up. You don't have to worry about every single component having to line up perfectly in order for this system to work. It's really designed to be a much easier to use system. And it works in a unique way from many of the other big companies that make weight distribution systems. So let me go over what you're going to get real quick. First of all, you have the hitch assembly. This is the hitch head. This is the piece that's going to slide into your shank. This is your shank. This is the portion that will slide into the back of your vehicle. And you have several holes here to adjust the height of this ball so you can properly level your vehicle during the hitching up process. You have a triangle plate here. This attaches to the bottom here. And this is where the sway control comes into play. And I'll go over that in a second. You have all the hardware here that mounts your brackets, which are right here, to the frame of your trailer. The chains in this portion right here is all about weight distribution. And then, of course, your instructions. And then you have your pin that holds the triangle plate in place, and then an additional pin to hold your shank in place. Now, the cool thing about this system is how it tackles sway. One of the main methods that most weight distribution sway control hitches use to tackle sway is using friction plates. So the brackets that are on the trailer itself are generally going to be an L-shaped bracket with either a friction material or just bare steel. The rods or the big bars that you see that come off of the back of the hitch slide up against those when you turn and it prevents the trailer from wanting to move side to side by downward pressure on those L brackets and the friction that that creates preventing the trailer from wanting to move easily. It essentially ties the vehicles together and makes them essentially a straight line. The challenge with that ultimately is it has to be set up 100% perfectly in order to function. And if you don't set it up perfectly, if the long metal bars that are on the L brackets aren't perfectly flat against them, if you don't have the right amount of weight, if you don't have it configured or dialed in properly, it's not going to perform well. And that's a challenge a lot of weight distribution hitch systems have. The Anderson system, on the other hand, is a much more innovative design, and it's one that I can truly appreciate. So, as you can see, you don't have any long metal bars here. You have the brackets that go on the trailer, as well as the hitch head assembly, and then these chains. And it all works in conjunction with this triangle plate. So I've watched all sorts of videos on this product, and unfortunately, none of them truly explain how this system works. So I'm going to try to go over it. So, sandwiched between this ball assembly you have this friction material and it's inside of the hitch head assembly so when this is pressed in place at the factory they put a lot of downward pressure in here to create a really really tight fit between the hitch head and this piece that surrounds it what ends up happening is this piece is incredibly hard to move because of that once the triangle plate is mounted to the bottom here and the chains are stretched out and attached to these brackets on the trailer, it's making it so anytime the trailer wants to move, it must move this triangle plate. And because of the pressure that's in here and the fact that this doesn't turn easily at all, this plate acts as the sway control. So in order for the trailer to move, it has to have enough force to rotate this triangle plate and cause this whole assembly to rotate inside of this collar. Now you might say, you know, with the weights of trailers, that's not going to be too difficult. But once you attach the weight distribution system and it's putting additional pressure on this, it creates essentially a braking material within this area here, which just makes it very difficult for the trailer to want to turn. It keeps the truck and the trailer lined up straight and it acts as sway control. Very effective sway control, I might add. 
Now, when it comes to weight distribution, that's where these brackets come into place. So the chains and everything are all kind of a universal system. It all has to work together. But the way it tackles weight distribution is once you have the chains connected to the ends of this triangle plate, and this portion is fed through the brackets on the trailer, you get everything at the correct height that you need and you simply use the chains to maintain that height so it keeps it there. The traditional weight distribution system with metal bars creates a spring effect. It's actually a spring that's pressing down on the L brackets as opposed to pulling into them. And when it presses down, anytime you hit a bump or you go over an expansion joint, the whole assembly wants to act like a spring causing it to bounce around. So that's the advantage that the Anderson hitch system has over other weight distribution systems on the market. Now before we install it on the vehicle, I've set it up in a similar fashion to how it would be set up on your vehicle once installed. The shank is going to slide into the receiver, then the hitch head assembly is going to be bolted up to the shank at the correct height once you've made your measurements of both the coupler height as well as your truck height. The pins will be inserted into the triangle plate to hold this in place and the other pin will hold the shank in place. Your bolts and hardware will hold this in place and you're going to compress this around this portion right here. So you want a very, very tight fit there. And the triangle plate is then going to have chains with pins that go all the way to the back. Now everything from the back here is going to be attached to the trailer. So the brackets here are going to be attached to the A-frame on your travel trailer. And then this threaded piece will slide through this bracket. It will use these urethane style kind of springs that will be at the end. You'll put a washer and then you'll put the large nut back on the end. So basically what happens here is this portion right here is all going to be attached to the trailer to ensure that anytime the truck and trailer want to turn or move, this piece right here is creating friction and it's making it very difficult. So it wants to essentially keep the vehicles tied together in more of a straight line and that's how you fix sway. So at this point, we're ready to take this out to the Durango, get it installed, dial everything in and see how this works. So I'm going to make this a two-part video, mainly because I want you guys to have a good understanding of how the system is supposed to function. The next video you're going to see on this hitch is us actually going out to the 2017 Dodge Durango, installing this, getting it hooked up correctly to the trailer, and showing you how it functions, as well as doing a test drive to see if it truly accomplishes what it's designed to do, which I really think it's going to. So guys, if you haven't had a chance, take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.